Well, as the year comes to an end, so is the career of a man on the cutting edge of science. As ORNL director Thomas Zachariah prepares to retire, he reflects on his journey that spanned thousands of miles over four decades. So this is an engineering marvel just to, right to, to put this thing together. It's the great frontier, the world's fastest supercomputer. ORNL director Thomas Zachariah can't help but brag like a proud parent. This machine consumes more power than the city of Oak Ridge. He describes it as a time machine that will revolutionize our everyday lives from laptops to vehicles and beyond. It allows us to explore the world roughly about 20 years from now and shape the evolution of the world. Science is his passion. But after 35 years at Oak Ridge National Lab, five as director, Zachariah says it's time to step aside. Unfortunately, I do not have a hobby. Uh, uh, and so either I have to develop a hobby or uh, figure out a way to how to use my experience, my knowledge, and, and continue to serve uh, the nation, continue to serve the communities. The 65-year-old first answered the call to service more than four decades ago, 8,000 miles away in his native India. He was born into a family business, but this accidental scientist, as he calls himself, wanted to explore the world. My thought at that time was, I'll come to the U.S., get a master's degree, broaden my horizon, and then go back. But, uh, and, and, and my father said, yes, on one condition, you have to go to Ole Miss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> did you go to Ole Miss? I did. That's because the only person his father knew in the U.S. was a professor at that Mississippi University. With a plane ticket in hand and $8 in his pocket, Zachariah studied engineering at Ole Miss and learned even more during his time there about American culture and people. And so the fact that you were treated uh, with respect um, for you as an individual and, and uh, left a huge impression on me and uh, that led to, you know, continuing to, you know, went for my PhD and then ultimately got here. An opportunity to come to Oak Ridge as a postdoctoral fellow blossomed into a three-decade career. The mechanical engineer and expert in material science oversaw the development of a series of supercomputers grew a partnership with the University of Tennessee and expanded the work underway at the National Lab. We have grown from about 4,500 staff to almost 6,000. That's a significant growth. We've also grown from about $1.6 billion lab to about $2.3, $2.5 billion laboratory. His proudest career achievement, his legacy, is a quick two-word answer, the people. So if you go back to the Manhattan Project, but 60, 70,000 people from all over the country came here and they put, they were part of something that is bigger than themselves. And that ethos of being part of something bigger than the, yourself still lives in this laboratory. What's next for this scientist is uncertain. He does plan to spend more time with his family and his first grandchild. But he is certain that this lab hidden in the hills of East Tennessee will continue to be a leader in new age science helping to shape our world. I'm proud of the, the, uh, the contributions and the changes that we have made. And there's much work to be done. And I'm sure the next person who comes into this role will do even, you know, continue to, to, to move this institution forward. And Zachariah's last official day at ORNL is December 31st. But Katie, he has certainly made an impact on Oak Ridge, East Tennessee, and the world of science, no doubt about that. That's for sure a remarkable career, Robin. Yes. Thank you.